It was so awful. But then Stephanie Cusey, the conservative MP from Calgary, finally spoke. I knew her about 25 years ago. We actually went to college together. So what did she have to say in committee? How did she start things off? Was she like Charlie Angus? Um, did, finally, did someone finally take Karina Gould on and <laughs> take the liberals to task, either for their censorship or their coziness with Facebook? Yeah, no, it was sort of the opposite. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chair. And uh, Minister, always lovely to see you. I love that necklace, by the way. That's just beautiful. Um, also, I want to say that I really enjoyed your speech yesterday at the uh, AI. Um, and you know what? It was very informal. And I, I really I think you should go with that format more when you come even to committees because you just you do it so well. So I just I wanted to compliment you on that. OK, now, please tell me that was just some friendly banter as a warm up before the official opposition did some official opposing. Yeah, no. Um, so I'm asking you, um, please, if you are ready in regards to the social media platform, willing to make the hard decisions, to take the hard actions, and not six months from now, uh, but now, please. That's your question. Charlie Angus was talking about collusion between Facebook and the Liberals. Uh, we heard all sorts of plans for censorship, all sorts of schemes, even censoring comments. We heard the statement that, you know, if there's some real news that could alter the course of the election, the government should weigh in. We heard that twice about Macron leaks. And the question from the conservatives is to go harder and faster. Is that the approach of the conservatives? The liberals want to control the Internet. They want a government censorship agency and a government meddling agency with that kook Michael Wernick on it. They're working hand in glove with liberal executives at Facebook. And all the conservatives have to say is, will you go harder and faster and just do it already? And might I say you're looking wonderful today. That is crazy, my friends. That is danger. They're coming for you. They're coming for me. They're coming for anyone who makes comments on Facebook they don't like. You heard Raj Saini. They literally want to arrest people and charge them for crimes for criticizing Trudeau too much. Like this kook, a liberal MP named Nathaniel Erskine Smith. Take a look. They, uh, they said Trudeau is a traitor to our country and deserves to be hung for his treasonous crimes. And that's posted on Facebook. That's left on Facebook. Facebook doesn't take it down. So should we expect social media companies to act or should we require them to act? So I should uh, clarify that my expectations have to fall within the electoral context at this point as I'm Minister of Democratic Institutions. However, that being said, uh, I think that we are moving uh, in a direction where we need to require social media companies to act. Um, that is outside the scope of my specific mandate right now. Um, but I think that uh, when we have very clear um, evidence that they are contravening laws here in Canada, that they should be um, acting responsibly in that manner. That's the liberal line. That's the liberal plan. Michael Wernick, that extremist clerk, is saying it. Karina Gould is saying it. Rad Saini is saying it. This latest guy, Nathaniel, is saying it. They, they think the convoy that went to Ottawa asking for pipelines to be built, they, they think these people are the criminals. Because some anonymous person on Facebook purportedly called Trudeau a traitor, the law needs to act. Now, now calling Trudeau a traitor might be rude, but, it, but it's not a crime to be rude to politicians. The CBC liberals called Stephen Harpy a Nazi. They called him Stasi Steve and Herr Hitler. Remember this? So, help save poor Stassi Steve this season. God knows Herr Harper doesn't have enough sense to save himself. <laughs> Herr Harper, that, that's delicious. So that's fine. That's fine discourse. That's the government of Canada's Mary Walsh. That's fine discourse. Uh, uh, by the way, here's a massive petition a couple years back, arrest and charge Stephen Harper for treason. This was promoted in the mainstream media, calling for the RCMP to actually arrest Harper for treason, more than 10,000 signatures on it. See, that was fine. Way, way back, four years ago, when the target of that hate was Stephen Harper. But today, Facebook needs to be regulated to tone it down. 
because Trudeau is the prime minister and we need a government agency telling us what to believe and what not to believe. And the best the conservatives have in reply is to compliment the chief censor on how fashionable she looks and to tell her to censor harder and faster. Oh, they will. Oh, they will. That's an excerpt from the Ezra Levant Show. Every day I do a video monologue and then I interview an interesting guest and then I end by reading my hate mail. But you've got to subscribe to it, which you can do at therebel.media slash shows.